Well, uh, I'll probably, probably not the color of metal you were hoping for, but uh, maybe a more positive end to what was a disappointing finish that I could do. Definitely, yeah. We're, we're super proud to, to win that medal and get on the podium here. Um, and yeah, it was it was a heartbreaker last night to kind of give away control of that game. But um, you know, we we learned from it, and we'll we'll pull a lot from this week. And we have so many good things this week. Really proud of the team. You know, we've seen in the last few years it's been harder and harder for Canada to get on an international podium. Like other teams have just gotten really good, really good at this game, and so. Just can you put into perspective what a bronze medal means to you here? Like, it's, it's not gold, but describe the pride that you can take in. Yeah, so much pride. Um, it, we we fought really hard for that bronze, so super super proud of us to to podium this week. Why the tears? Just it's it's uh, it was an up and down week. It was certainly emotional, but you know just the love of the crowd and and everything we just we loved it out there and you just get goosebumps when they're cheering for you and yeah it's just incredible given the climate of canadian curling these days i do have to ask what's the future of this team for next season beyond what do um yeah we we're super proud of everything we've accomplished so far and um we can't wait to celebrate everything this year and uh look forward to building into the future are you guys playing in the Champions Cup in all? Yep, yep. We uh, we have a bit of a week off for two weeks or something, and then um, we go to Toronto for the Players' Championship, and then, yeah, we're super excited to finish it off in Alberta at the end of the beginning play, of May. Playing play this in Canada, I mean, it, we've always t talked about it, but now that you've won a medal in Canada, what, what does that mean to, to actually win something in your home country? Yeah, it's just been a dream. dream dream come true all week being able to play in front of the Canadian fans on Canadian soil. And what makes this team proud of a bronze medal here? Uh, I think, you know, it's a huge improvement over last year. We felt so much more comfortable here this year and I think we played awesome throughout the week and we had a tough loss yesterday and, and earning a medal today, is, it means everything to us. And just, I mean, in, in the way that you lost last night's game was there any discussion going into the extra end like we need to bear down this time and not lose hopes uh you know no really i think we just uh all knew what job we had to do out there and uh that was to try and keep the middle open um we got fortunate that brianne was able to tick one of their guards and uh and so that really simplified things for us and she put a great one in the top four that uh they had to kind of beat throughout um, the end. So um, it couldn't have gone better, and uh, and uh, I don't think anybody was thinking about yesterday when we went into that end. Does it make it any more special you beat the 2018 Olympic gold medalist, the bronze medalist last month? They've been runner-up twice in this thing. Like, that's a really good team. They're ranked number three in the world. Does, does that make you feel that you belong in that contest right now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, they're always an incredibly difficult team to play. Uh, they come out firing and they make you play your best in order to win. Um, and I think they, they really challenged us today and it was back and forth. And um, yeah, I feel like we've solidified ourselves um, as one of the top teams out there. Um, and I think we just want to keep getting better and, and keep improving and would hopefully love to get back here and improve on this medal. When you look back at this tournament, once this is over, uh, not just up here tomorrow, but in a couple day, a week, whatever, what are you going to take from this experience and how are you going to kind of maybe put everything in perspective over the course of the entire week? Yeah, I mean, if there's anything I learned over the last two years is perspective. So I think that was key uh, after last night's loss um, coming into this game. But I think we're just so grateful to be able to play um, with everything that's going on in the world right now. And um, it was a wonderful event. And um, we are just so fortunate to be here today and have the fans and be in Canada. Can you, uh, how does this team take pride? What makes you proud of a bronze medal in this championship? Um, Canada hasn't got a medal at the Worlds in a while, so it's really cool to get that medal for us. And it was a hard field and a really hard grind of a week, but it was great to come on top with at least a medal to show for it. And leads don't get a lot of love, but that tip shot in uh, the 11th kept the lanes open. <laughs> Did you feel like, yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, um, we were excited to have the opportunity to play the tick shot just because it does help it a lot to keep it open. So yeah, I was hoping I would make it just to make it easier on the girls. Thank you. Can you describe the pride that you can take in a bronze medal? What makes you proud of this? Oh, it's an absolute honor to be able to medal at Worlds. And um, yeah, we came here for gold, but um, we're coming home with something. So that's pretty special. And um, it's uh, definitely, and it puts a lot of things in perspective that there is other bigger things that are happening outside this world right now. But uh, we're just super, super grateful and honored to be here. I mean, it's no secret that other countries play this game really well. You just beat the 2018. Olympic gold medalists, they won bronze last month. They're twice the runner up. They're ranked number three in the world. What does that do for this team? Wow, like they, I knew that they were going to come out and give us a really good game, and we had to make some clutch shots when we needed to, and uh, that's what we did. And um, every opportunity you get here at Worlds, um, it almost feels a little easier. Um, I know last year we felt a lot of pressure, um, and so this year we just kind of went into it with relaxed enjoy every single moment, uh, embrace the fans, and uh, it's been uh, amazing. You're the ultimate authority on this. What is this team's future going forward? I mean, we've seen teams breaking up and reforming. I know you have a couple more events, but what about next season? Um, we are definitely staying together. <laughs> um, why uh, break something that isn't broken? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we've uh, we've kind of talked that over, and uh, yeah, we've had a lot of success and uh, I absolutely love my teammates uh, on and off the ice and I think that's what makes us uh, a really good fit for each other. Well, I know it was a hard fought game, a tough way to, to lose uh, and come up empty. Just maybe talk about you know the game as well as the tournament in general. Uh, the game, I think we had it where we wanted it. It's just uh, I overthrew two and that cost us the game. The, my 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 last in uh, my last in uh, my last in six and my first one in eight. Like if I make one of those, we are looking good for the win. So I don't know. It's just uh, it's been that for a whole week. I think we have fought very very good and we have had some great games. But we, uh, for every millimeter, we have had to fought like all the time. So I don't know. Like uh, it's tough right now, but they play, play really really well and uh, we forced an extra and uh, yeah. Congrats to them.